Welcome back, everyone. I'm Kyle from Florida Studio Theater, and now we are ready to work on our third ingredient of a play, conflict. Every play has a conflict. The conflict is the problem of the play. It tells us what our characters want and what's standing in their way. And it's very important for helping us understand what's happening in the play and what it's about. Maybe in brainstorming your characters, you've already thought about what one or both of your characters might want. Or maybe you're thinking about it for the very first time. Either way, I want you to think about the characters you've chosen. What might they want and what is standing in their way? For example, Caroline thought of the character Charlie the Cheetah and said that he wants to run very, very fast. But what might be standing in his way is that he was born with a limp and he can't run as fast as his cheetah friends. That's just one example though. I'm sure you can think of a great conflict for your play. I'm going to play some writing music and I want you to write down an idea for what your characters want and what might be standing in their way. Did you think of it? Awesome. Here are a few examples that I liked from young playwrights just like you in the past. One playwright thought of a flower who wanted to grow above the ground, but her fear of what might be there above the ground was stopping her. Another playwright wrote about a villager who wanted a dragon to stop burning down everything in his town, but the dragon couldn't because he had the hiccups. Both of those conflicts are very creative and came from playwrights just like you. Now, you have the first three ingredients to your play. You have your characters, setting, and conflict. And we are ready for our fourth and final ingredient, dialogue. 